In this video, we'll be learning how to solve equations with multiple variables. Now, solving equations with more than one variable uses the same process as solving an equation with just one variable. Here is our equation 5x plus 3y equals 15. We have a variable here for x, and we also have a variable y. Now, they're asking us for y. What that means is we want to get, isolate the variable y all by itself. So what I tell my students is let's go ahead and put a box around the y, and this will help me remember that I'm going to be getting everything else and moving it from the left side to the right side by using my inverse operations of what I know. All right, so our first step is we ask ourselves this 5x right here, it's a positive 5x. And how is it attached to the y? Well, by addition. And so to get rid of that 5x, I'm going to add a negative 5x to the left hand side. Now, I'm not going to put the 5x underneath the 15 because the 15 is a constant and this is a coefficient and variable. So I am going to treat it individually when I'm combining like terms. So here, 5x plus a negative 5x is 0. So I'm going to bring down my positive 3y. And that's going to equal 15 minus 5x. Once again, I cannot combine them because they are apples and oranges. They're totally different. So let's go ahead and once again, I have my students box the y. So I say what's attached to this y is a 3, a positive 3, and it's attached by multiplication. So how I get rid of multiplication is by division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Now I'm going to divide on the right side, I'm going to divide this term by a positive 3. And then underneath, I'm going to divide this term by a positive 3. So let's go ahead and simplify everything. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. So now I have my y by itself. I have 15 divided by 3 gives me a positive 5. I'm going to put a little positive 5 here. And negative 5x divided by 3, I'm going to keep it as a fraction. Negative 5 thirds x. And there's my answer. Now I could rearrange this because as I get into algebra and I get into graphing and I want to put it into the uh, slope intercept form, I'm going to make sure that y is equal to a negative 5 thirds x. And this is a positive 5 and plus 5 right there. Awesome. Let's try another problem. Let me erase this one. Our next problem is going to be the letter B minus 2A equals C. And I have three variables this time, and I would like to solve it for variable A. So first things first, I know that I'm just going to box my A. I can put an arrow at the top just so I know that's the one I'm going to um, leave alone. And so I look at here, this B is attached to that A. It's a positive B, so I'm going to add its inverse of a negative B to both sides. Once again, I cannot combine C and B, that they're two different variables. So I'm going to leave them off. I'm not going to put them one right underneath each other. Therefore, a positive B and a negative B gives me zero. I have negative 2A equals C minus B. Now, that negative 2 is multiplied to the variable A. So I am going to divide by negative 2 under each variable, or each term, I should say. 
and let's see what our final answer is going to be. Well, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is going to give me 1. So it's going to give me 1a. And then I need to realize that there in front of this, the, there is a coefficient in front of this variable c. It's an imaginary one under in front of both of those. So I can keep these fractions together. And so this would be a negative 1 half with variable c. And then a negative and a negative is a positive. And it's going to be 1 half. times the variable b. Now I could write it also, this is another way I could write it, is a b in my answer and just keeping this as c over a negative c over 2 and then plus b over 2. I could write it either way. I kind of prefer to keep that coefficient in front of the variable because later on in higher levels of math or more complicated problems, you're going to use this right here to determine slope when you're graphing. Um, it all depends. You need to know that coefficient. All right, one more example. Here we go. Let's write our example. Our last example is 4n. Oops. Sometimes my stylus goes a little crazy. 4n equals 3m, the letter m is in Mary, minus 1, or the m is in math. And we are going to solve this equation with multiple variables for the letter M. So here we go. Instead of a box, I'm going to put an arrow. So I'm going to say I'm not going to touch that. I need to move it over everything else to the opposite side. So the 4N stays right where it's at, stays put. But this negative 1, I need to add its inverse to both sides. And this is a positive 4 here, but these do not combine together. So I will have 1 plus 4n is equal to 3m. Now I see that that 3 is attached by multiplication. So I'm going to divide each term in this problem by its coefficient of 3. So here I have one third plus four over three n equals m because three divided by three is one m. Now I can kind of switch this around to standard form, but keeping everything in the exact same order, one third plus four-thirds in.